Good afternoon, first grade. Um, I hope that you're doing well and ready to knock out some phonics with me today. Um, today we are going to be reviewing. I told you yesterday and last week that we were going to be finishing up with our phonics um, with just reviewing everything that we've learned. <clears throat> Excuse me. So today we are going to learn, or not learn, we're going to review our triographs. Do you remember what triographs are? Yeah, so trigraphs are when three letters come together to make one single sound, right? And so, what's the difference between a trigraph and a diagraph? Yeah, right. So a diagraph has two letters that come together to make one sound, and a trigraph has three letters, hint tri, right? That's um, the beginning word part. Trigraph means when three letters come together to make one sound. So, the three trigraphs that we learned this year are the ones on your sheet. And if you don't have it, you can look on mine right here under trigraph. And so, let's go ahead and say these sounds together like we would in class. Ready? Triagraph, I-G-H, I like light. Triagraph, D-G-E, J, like bridge. Triagraph, T-C-H, ch, like patch. And so you see that the letters that are um, crossed out are the letters that do not make those sounds, right? Only usually one or, one or two will make that sound. Um, but we put them together, the three letters that come together to make one sound. Um, where do we normally find trigraphs? What position in a word? The initial, medial, or final? Yeah, normally we find them in the final position of a word. Um, not always, but normally we do, okay? So let's right now co come together and we're gonna um, create and kind of come up with some words that have triographs in them. And um, then I'm gonna do your, what's wrong with my camera? Okay, then I'm gonna do our, um, our phonic sheet together, okay? So right now, let's come together. I'm gonna pull this so you can see it. I don't know why it's doing that. There we go. No. Okay, maybe now you can see a little better. Okay, so I have the three trigraphs up here, I-G-H, T-C-H, and D-G-E, okay? So, here I am. Okay, is that better? Okay, sorry. We're back. Technology. Okay. We have triagraph I-G-H. What is a word that we know that has I-G-H in it? We know one from our card, right? Triagraph I-G-H says, I like light, right? That G and H are silent. That's why I've marked those out. That's how we code those, okay? So I've got light. Who knows another one? What about bright? or sight. There are many, many words. So right now you go ahead and create two more and write them down, okay? And then when you're ready, push play and then we'll keep going. So trigraph TCH says ch. So the T is silent here, okay? And so we know TCH says ch like patch. This time I'm gonna go across. TCH can also say um, scratch or when we're playing a game and we want them to look the same or find the same match, right? Good. And the last one is DGE. We know the D and the E is silent. The G says J, right? So, we know one like bridge, um, officers, or even other people who are not officers, sometimes at work have to wear a badge. Very good. And the last one, sometimes in art, I'm clumsy, and I have to be extra careful so I don't smudge, smudge my work, right? Okay, so hopefully you are adding some more to your triographs. And if you have already done that and you are ready to go to review it, 
let's go together and let's do our phonics um, coating sheet. All right, so go ahead and get yours out if you don't already. We're on lesson 138 today. Remember that you are skipping um, numbers one through 16 and we're just gonna code the words together. Okay, excuse me. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so, very good, here we go. We're looking for those triographs. That's how we spell triographs. All right, number 17, the word is crutches. So I'm gonna put a K back on my C. Put a brief over my short value that says uh. Underline my TCH, my trigraph. Mark out the T. And then I'm gonna box the ES, my suffix. Crutches. And then I'm gonna draw a line. Okay, number 18, night time. Trigraph IGH says I like light. Put a macron over my I. Cross out G and H. It is a compound word, so I'm going to put a line between night and time. I'm going to put a macron over my I because it says I. It's a long vowel. And cross out my E. Night time. And this goes all the way down to the picture of it being night. Number 19, the word stretching. Str -e, my E is a short vowel E. TCH says ch, mark out the T, and box the ING, that's my suffix, because if I take away ing, it's stretch a word. Absolutely it is. All right. All right, oops, excuse me, friends. Okay, the next one, number 20. The word is dodgeball. I'm going to put a brief over my O because it's a short vowel O. Ah, dodge. D-G-E. I'm going to underline it. Mark out the D and the E. Put a dot over the G to remind myself that it says J. Dodge. And then ball. This is a compound word. So I'm going to put a line between it and then put a brief over my A for ball. You don't have to like to cross out one of the L's too. Dodgeball. And so my picture for dodgeball, hmm, do you see it? Oh, right there. They're playing dodgeball. Crazy me. All right, dodgeball. Number 21, tightrope. Ooh, all right. So I'm going to put a macron over my eye. I see my trigraph IGH. So I'm going to do that and mark out the G and the H. And then this is a compound word, tight and rope. Put a macron over my O, cross out the E, tight rope. Do you see someone doing tight rope? Yes, scary, scary. I would not be doing that. 22, the word is ledge. Tell me, what do I do? Start at the beginning. The E is a short vowel E, so I'm going to put a brief. Triograph DGE, so we underline it. <clears throat> the G D and the E are silent, and our G says J, like a J sound, right? So let's go ahead and mark this down to the ledge. All right, next word, 23, what's the word? Good, I way. So I see my, my triograph, I-G-H, I'm gonna underline it, put a macron over my I, cross out the G and H. Then it is a compound word, high and way. And I see a vowel digraph, A-Y. A-Y says A like hay. You remember that card? And that's how we code the word highway. And so then our picture is up at the top of the cars on a highway. Thigh bone. So I have a digraph TH that says th like thimble. I-G-H is my triograph. Put a macron over my I, cross out the G and the H. It is a compound word, so I'm going to draw my line to break it apart. Bone, B O. Put a macron and cross out the E. Thigh bone. And so this is a picture of a man with his thigh, pointing to the thigh. And the last word, hutch. My U is a short vowel U, so I'm going to put a breathe over it. Uh, TCH is my trigraph. Mark out the T because it's quiet. 
And we are done. Do you see a hutch? It's like a piece of furniture that holds things. Yep. Whoopsie. Sorry. Hutch. All right, friends. So, hopefully you had some fun today reviewing those triographs. Um, I know those were pretty easy. And what I want you to do is make sure that you are practicing those and don't forget them because they're super fun and we all need triographs, right? When we're reading and writing. So, um, I hope that was helpful. And if you need help, just let me know. All right, guys, have a good day. Bye-bye.